Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all a Yu-Gi-Oh! Valiant Smashers booster box opening. I got this box for a pretty good price, only had to pay $50 for the box. And there are a lot of cards in this set that are actually just, you know, creeping up in price, becoming more relevant with the newer support we'll be getting for the Mementotlin deck, the Valmonica deck. I actually don't know if we're getting more Centurion support than we already got from the Legacy of Destruction booster set, but I figured I'd try my luck. You normally get three Ultra Rares per box and always the chance to pull a collector rare. So we'll go ahead and open the box and just see how I do. We'll see if we pull anything noteworthy because I believe from the 10 ultras that you can pull from the box, uh, six of them are actually holding some pretty decent value and just going up in price continuously as well. So let's go ahead and test my luck and see how we pull. So we have pack number one, and we are already starting off with that Ultra, and it is a Valmonica Acothological Voice. Not bad, one of the better ones for the Valmonica deck to pull. I believe there's only two Ultras to pull for the Valmonica deck, but this Field Spell, definitely a good one. And there are a lot of good uh, you know, rares throughout the pack as well, which I'll just have to organize afterwards, but. Starting off with an Ultra, so one Ultra down. Let's see what our next one is. We have a Super Rare, Valmonica Versaire, for the one of many different uh, search spells for the Valmonica deck. They have so many spells that just, you know, have the gain and burn life effect. It just all comes down to which one you want to use at the specific time. Our next Super is Mementotlin Dark Blade, another one of the needed supers for the deck. We also have There Can Only Be One and Magic Planter. Next pack. There's Supply Squad and Dark Honest. Our next super is Valmonica Chosen Melody. Mechlord Emperor Weissel and Memento Twin as well. This is pack number five. Uh, Draco Berserker and Angelo Valmonica. For our next super, Spooky Dogwood, Trick Clown, also. Next pack. We have Arch Nemesis, Scottos, Foolish Burial. And right after Angelo Valmonica, we pull Demono Valmonica as well. Plenty of Colossus Fighter already, also. We're going to pull another Demono or an Angelo. Let's see. Nope, but we are going to pull their Link Monster, Zebufera, Valmonican, Hallow, Heathen. There's a Baguska also. And Supply Squad, Swamp Deity, and Mementotlin Mace. There's also Call the Haunted and Honest. Pull another Ultra soon. Let's see. As I say it, we are going to pull one. We have Spirit Loageth and we have Valmonica Celta. All right, this is not one of the more expensive cards for the set, but we pulled both of the Valmonica Ultras. So here's hoping, since we pulled two Ultras so far, that we have another Ultra on this side and a Collector Rare. We have Centurion Bonds, so our first of the, I think it's our first Centurion foil also. But is this pack for this side? I believe this pack is for that side. Let's see. And we have Mementotlin, Tatsuno Toshigo, Emperor Weissel, Baguska as well. All right, last pack on the left side. We have Goblin, Skatos, another Centurion card, Centurion Phalanx, Call the Haunted, Magic Planter. And on to the right side. All right, so we got to pull, hopefully, a pretty good Ultra from this side because I think both of the ones we pulled so far weren't the greatest. But as I said, I got the box for a pretty good price. So I figured I'd test my luck and see how we do. And Supply Squad, Valmonica, Followed Rhythm, Imperial Custom. All right, we got to go for that. Collector Rare. Here's hoping we have another Demono Valmonica, Baguska, as well as a Colossal Fighter. Goblin, Skatos, and another Angelo as well. So we pulled two of each of the Valmonica Supers 
from this box. So it's definitely been the Valmonica box so far. Well, let's see, can we, there, we can't pull another Valmonica Ultra, but we could potentially pull a Collector Rare, but let's see, our final Ultra is, all right, cool. We have an Emblema Oath. This is one of the better Ultras to pull. I believe it's pretty up there so far for value, so not bad, a good one for sure. And Terraforming and Performage Trick Clown. And we have seven packs left. Are they all gonna be supers? Do we have a fourth Ultra in our midst? Do we have a, I believe you can pull a, Quarter Century Seeker Rare. We have another Heathen Hollow. Spooky Dogwood also. Transmission, Gravity Collapse, Tatsuno Toshigo, Call of Haunted, always good as well. All right, we're winding down. No more Supers. Let's pull me a Quarter Century Seeker Rare or another Ultra. We have Zebufera again, Valhalla and Terraforming. Four left as we wind down. Let's see. Supply Squad, Advanced Draw, and Valmonica and Tonnerre. This was definitely the Valmonica box, but pulling that Emblem of Oath definitely helped us also to making some of that value back for the box. We have Swamp Deity, Foolish Burial, Centurion Awakening, another Summoner Monk, and another Trick Clown also. All right. Second to last pack. Let's see, we're gonna go slow on this one. We have Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. Oh, and I grab it and spoil the super. Synchro Transmission and Centurion Stand Up with a linear line of staple rares after that. All right, final pack. It's even got that little foil bend. So let's hope, and I'll do it properly this time with this one. That this final pack has something. We have Mementotlin Bone Burial, Mechlord Emperor Grinnell, and up oh, sadly just one more super. So sadly no collector rare. I think it's normally one in every three boxes for the collector rare. But I figured we'd test our luck and see how we do. I was pretty nervous at the beginning with the two Valmonica cards, but you never know. These cards could increase in value if the Valmonica deck turns out to be pretty good in the future. And we also did pull the Emblema Oath, plus plenty of rares, which is why I was also tempted to get the box, because there are just a lot of good staple rares mixed in that I can use for other decks for sure. But I hope you all enjoyed. I know we have a lot of Legacy of Destruction openings on the... Uh, release around this time as well but like I said this is a cool box to open and as always until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and Kira twig out